Hey, this is Ron TMC right here. Me, Molly, Mitch. Ron TMC. Gonna go back about 20 years. I'm going to stay. They were here and cheer. Warriors running with the three man crew became something. Who came hard away? My man, man in the point. Kill a cross in the morning. Go walk in the joint. Can't buy his sides going day after day. Mitch, rich man, rich man, I'm getting his way. Last but not least, he's a jump shot piece. On a pony's Chris Moen is having a feast. Hard to find a trio better than these three. Can Mitch and Chris run on the TV and see? We are here with three of the greatest players to ever play in the NBA, and also three of my main men <laughs> from way back in the day. Let's talk about Run TMC. Your coach is Don Nelson, so that seemed to be perfect because he was kind of thought outside the box to come up with whatever you guys had. You were telling me earlier you guys didn't even have a playbook. Oh, you had a playbook, but you never used it. We had a pretty extensive playbook, but on given nights, we would junk it. On a given night, Nelly would give us the freedom to go out there and play if we played the right way. In the locker room, he said, you know what, guys, tonight, we're gonna, I'm gonna call no plays. As long as you guys are sharing the basketball, playing the right way, no plays. And that was an incentive for us to get out there and just do just that. Tim was in charge of that because he had the ball most of the time. Tim was so good at breaking his man down. The one rule we used to give him was you can't beat your man every time the first time. And yeah, look out, here comes a Hardaway Express. Oh, he throws it over to Richmond with authority. The simple rule was throw ahead, come out the other end, and then the second time you touch the ball, go do your thing. The killer crossover. Oh, brother. I used to just come down at, at, at sometimes a half court. You can you can just tell who's on the right side, who's on the left side. When you left them on your right, and you can just feel them just sprint down and trying to fill the lanes and try to see who's gonna get the ball first and make a layup, and make a shot. Now the city, all of a sudden they were. I mean, you guys, you sold out 41 games, you sold out the whole season at, at one point, and then you had all these things where. If you scored a certain amount of points, they got pizzas. Pizza. So they were in it, and they got pizzas a lot. That's right. <laughs> now they're screaming for pizza again. And the Warrior fans are a happy bunch. They all get free pizza. <laughs> Gave a lot of weight out there. Right. They were seriously into it. So it had to be just a perfect situation for all of you. Uh, it was. I, I think uh, it was a. It was just a fun time because we didn't have a problem scoring, and uh, and, and we came. Uh, Nelly would come in the locker room and said, and say, "Hey, the first one, to 125, win the game." <laughs> we were like, "Okay, well, we gotta get to 125." <laughs> did you ever practice defense? Yeah, well, actually, we did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, your, you your offense was your defense. <laughs> We would be playing defense, man, and we'd bust our butt. And I think I am the only one down court. Tim would throw it to me, and I'm like, I'm getting ready to dunk. And I look down, somebody said, Phew. and it'd be Chris up under the ball. I'm like, how the heck did he get down there so quick? <laughs> Your man didn't shoot the ball. He on the other side. How did you get down there? The I mean, other, he the other would, guy contested. He would leak out. Oh, we called the leak out. He was the best leak outer in the world. Huh? Hey, he was always down the court. Always. Always. <laughs> He'd be oh under the basket. God. He'd get How'd a rebound. He'd kick it out to you. Next thing you know, he'd like, hey, I'm ready. Oh, How you get down here that quick? You're not that fast. Exactly. <laughs> How you get down here? Uh, he ready. He always ready. He's always ready. <laughs>